and you can sit wherever you want to around the room. You can sit. You can definitely sit if you want to. We can pull chairs around if you want to. There's lots of chairs. So I am delighted to share on behalf of NOVA and probably most importantly, the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, um, that you three have been named Jack Kent Cook finalists. <laughs> In addition, you get pom-poms and a kicky Nova pin. <laughs> but um, so everyone understands what the Jack Kent Cook Transfer Scholarship will provide is $55,000 a year for these three students, and I'll introduce each one in turn, to attend the university of their choice. Um, that scholarship is renewable for up to three years. And um, these three students are among only 100 students across the country in over 1,100 community colleges um, to receive this award. There were, there you go, there were um, 1,200 applications, 440 final, semi-finalists, including the three students you see here today. Um, 11 NOVA students were among the semi-finalists. And tomorrow, publicly, they will announce the 100 students who will receive this incredible scholarship, truly one of the most prestigious for community college students in the country. And we have three well-deserved winners here at NOVA. Congratulations. So I don't, um, oops, I will award these, but first let me read just a little bit about each of the students. So um, I'm going to do this off of a piece of paper, which is, folks know I don't usually do because I don't want to miss anything about these remarkable um, students. Anastasia Duenas. is already an accomplished researcher who has presented at honor symposiums and has participated in the NASA Community College Scholars Program. She aims to make an impactful change in the field of medical research. Um, she has already written research articles on multi-cancer early detect detection testing, which is so complicated I can't even read it, <laughs> right? And works hard to bring to light health disparities within communities. Anastasia returned to NOVA after an initial start in 2015 during which she was critically ill, and that has really shaped your journey, I think it's fair to say. And we're going to ask each one of them to say a little bit and share their story with us as well. So Anastasia, when she's not winning $55,000 a year scholarships, <laughs> currently serves as the president of both the NOVA Alexandria Honors Club and Alexandria Phi Theta Kappa's chapter. After graduation, she plans on pursuing an MD, PhD, and has applied to continue her education at UVA, Virginia Commonwealth University, Swarthmore, Brown, and Yale, and her choice may um, change based on the news today. Who knows? <laughs> so congratulations, Anastasia. <laughs> and so to my right is Carrie Langhorn. Carrie is already an inventor, an entrepreneur. She's a single mother, an in-demand equine athletic recovery therapist, and the holder of a patent, already holder of a patent, for a top-of-the-line horse recovery supplement. After working many years, she returned to college and will be graduating summa cum laude from NOVA this Sunday, putting in a plug for graduation. <laughs> And she plans to pursue a doctorate degree in equine research and has applied to Yale, 
Cornell, William and Mary, and Texas A and M. So again. And then last but not least in the middle is Milad Wahid. He is a future engineer who has always had an interest in machine learning, artificial intelligence, and helping underserved communities. His time growing up in Afghanistan stoked his interest in helping others as he left with his family as refugees to immigrate to the US. While here at NOVA, there's a NASA theme here, by the way, he interned at NASA and served as the president of five clubs and organizations at the institution. He's the current president of the Woodbridge Campus Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and he launched a fundraising campaign that raised $10,000 for scholarships for NOVA students, where I know Kelly Persons is here. She is incredibly grateful for your support. He plans on continuing his studies in computer science at an university to be named, and hopes to launch a startup in the fintech industry. Congratulations. And uh, my understanding is your brother was also a Jack Kent Cook. Right. Oh, there you go. So once again, congratulations. There are so many people here who have helped you along this journey, but what I want you to hear is that you did this through your hard work, your amazing intelligence, your dedication, and as you could hear from what I shared, your remarkable commitment to others. So we are so proud of you. We are delighted to celebrate you. We have a cake and everything. Um, but before we move forward, I would love to hear from each one of you a little bit about your NOVA journey and where you think you might be going next. So Anastasia, I'll start with you. And there's a mic here, so I think um, we're recording this, just so you know, for the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. Um, and they send their regards. Um, we couldn't get someone from the foundation here today, unfortunately, because of other obligations. But I think folks can hear if you talk up. If not, you've got a mic right in front of you. Um, so I'm, I'm still in shock, honestly. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, just talk. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, awesome. I'm still in shock and just, I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to have been a student at NOVA. Definitely, it has been paramount to my journey. It was a place that really nurtured me. Definitely getting to know all of the professors and the students. It's just, it's been amazing. I'm, I'm truly humbled and honored of this for sure. And I'm, so excited to continue my next chapter, but I always get back to NOVA because NOVA has given so much to me. Thank you. Do you know where you might be going next? I'm still trying to decide, wait for decisions. Well, this should help. <laughs> so, Mila. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just in shock too. It's kind of crazy, um, but... Yeah, I think, you know, for me, I just want to say thank you to, honestly, everyone at NOVA. The people here today have really served as mentors for me for my two years here at NOVA. And, you know, I just, just being able to just, you know, talk to them, look up to them, and just, you know, kind of doing my own thing, but also having them for support just meant so much to me. Um, and as uh, President Kress mentioned, yeah, I was a part of many clubs, organizations here at NOVA. Um, and honestly, it, especially during a time when like, we were in the middle of the pandemic, it was hard to communicate with people. I really found a lot of value in those clubs and organizations, and I met so many amazing, wonderful people. People from like, the most unique and craziest backgrounds. It was just so, like, so amazing. And you know, it just, again, like, being a part of NOVA and just having that, you know, the, those people and just the people here today has just been amazing. So thank you guys so much. Any ideas of where you might be going next? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tough. Um, first off, I got to thank you so much. Um, my 
my journey has not been an easy one, by all means. Um, just, um, just thank you, professors that believed in me um, here at NOVA, just understanding that someone has, thank you, <laughs> um, you know, uh, I do, I have my dog and she helps me very much and it's just to believe that it's okay to think differently and um, my brain does think differently than most. Um, I could see things um, with horses differently um, and I do, I have my patent. I actually have two more pending. Um, so. <laughs> And uh, so what I hope to do with the Jack Ken Cook is not have to stress and worry about money anymore. I didn't come from money. Um, it's all been on my own. And when people told me, oh, you can't, you can't do it, you know, and you can't go to those schools or, so now the sky's the limit. Um, I've been accepted to Cornell and William and Mary. Um, and um, I'm going to go down and see Texas A&M as well. And um, I, I don't know, and now it's just sky's the limit, so I can't wait. Right. <laughs> awesome. And I know that you've brought family here, you've got supporters here, you've got colleagues here who all want to celebrate you. So, um, and you might want to take a break to even call other people and let them know or text them a little bit of news. So um, I just want you to be able to celebrate this, but know how proud we are of you, how much we know that it took you to get here to this day. You exemplify everything. We want every student to experience at NOVA, and thank you for living NOVA to its fullest. We can't wait to see where you're gonna go, what you're gonna do, and thank you. Please stay in touch with us. Absolutely. All of these folks wanna keep hearing from you, Absolutely. so thank you. So enjoy, let's celebrate. Thank you so much. <laughs>